Hi, I'm Casey D. Gardner for Discovery News. I'm at the Houston Museum of Natural Sciences, and in this warehouse behind me is Leonardo, one of the most intact specimens of dinosaurs ever found. Let's find out a little more about him. My name is Dr. Robert Bacher. I'm a curator of paleontology fossils here at the Houston Museum of Natural Science, and what we have here is one of the most important dinosaurs ever found. Leonardo is a mummy. Definition of a mummy is a skeleton with skin dried onto its outside. An animal which breaks the barriers of time and lets us, and lets you, go back 77 million years and actually feel the stomach rumblings and the intestinal gurglings of the dominant plant eater of the time. It's very cool. Let's start at the head. If you come close right here, You'll see imprints of scales, the skin. The skin was pressed against the wet sand as the animal was buried. And although the skin itself rotted away, disappeared, evaporated really, it left faithful imprints of the skin pattern. Leonardo is a brachylophosaur, that's an early duckbill. It has a sharp beak for chopping plants. And here too, we have the soft tissue. What usually rots away is the beak edge. We actually have it here preserved in a layer of sharp sand. But now as we go a little further back, it gets incredibly cool. Here is an enormous rounded lump of sand, which is right there in the throat region. That's probably the crop, the food holding organ that's in the throat. So the animal would chop the plants there, chew them with its molars, had many, many, many molars, and store food here. And now here is the most important window into dinosaur past I've ever seen, right here. The skin has been broken away. The imprints of skin has been broken away. And you see this dark mass. And up close, you can see little flecks of carbon. Those are the stomach contents. I am actually touching the animal's last meal. These are chopped up conifer needles and bits of branches and conifer cones. And under a microscope, you can see the jagged edges of the chopped up vegetation here. It's incredibly cool. As soon as the layer of sand was removed, the layer that had the skin impressions, everyone went, ooh, ah, guts. And they were right. And you can follow the chopped vegetation along here through the large intestines and into the small intestines here. You can see energy being removed from the food and being absorbed by the animal. You can actually see the process of bioenergetics, and no one has ever seen that before in any dinosaur. 